welcome. In these videos, we'll be looking at Content Agent's deep integration into Avid editing products. So whether you're running a single media composer or a part of a huge interplay deployment, you'll benefit from the advanced bi-directional workflows that are available. Let's start afresh by making a new workflow that will integrate into a standalone media composer. The goal here is to automatically prepare clips into an Avid friendly format and then put them into the Media Composer's Managed Media Directory structure. Once we've built the workflow, we can use Card Agent to easily submit camera card and other file structures to it. We'll start with a blank canvas in the workflow designer just to give you a better idea of how simple it is to construct automated ingest pipelines for Avid. I'll add a metadata extract node first to propagate clip data downstream. Content Agent by default preserves all clip metadata throughout the flow. And as we'll see later, we can also further utilize external metadata, as well as creating completely custom metadata that can be used to drive other functionality. As the source for this workflow is coming from a camera card, I can use a real splitter node to better optimize parallel processing of the clips within the card structure. After this, we'll introduce something that we use extensively within the pipeline, a versatile tool called the Decision Node. Now this node has so many applications within a workflow, allowing us to branch pipelines based on metadata. But in our example, we're going to use a very specific option that allows us to see if a particular file type can be rewrapped into an Avid optimized format rather than having to transcode it. If it can, we then pipe this branch into tools that will rewrap the files into OP Atom MXFs. Then write those files directly to the Avid Media folder and in a standalone Media Composer environment, also update the database simultaneously. We even have the option to wrap and join clips into a new single piece of media. If the files can't be wrapped, then from the other output, we can route them into a platinum node to physically transcode the clips into OP Atom MXF files. When we drop the node into the flow, it opens up the template browser. And we can see that we already have some system presets for Avid. I'll choose one of the higher bitrate codecs for my full resolution. When the platinum interface opens, I'm going to adjust my preset to match my original frame rate. Now both the Avid OP Atom rewrap and in this case Platinum nodes are configured to create an AAF as an output. We'll look at how these will be used in a moment. I'm also going to toggle on Use Platinum Codex which will give me accelerated transcode performance compared to the default processing. As before with the Avid OP Atom tool, the Platinum node can also write the MXF file straight into Media Composer's managed file structure and update its database at the same time. There is also the option to transcode and join clips as we could in the rewrap process. Now this is the location that the AAFs, which are generated and passed on into the workflow, will reference. By adding RealMaker and AAF merger nodes, we can actually consolidate all the clips AAFs into a single one and at the same time create a new Media Composer sequence that will automatically load and join all of the source clips together into a timeline. I'll just repeat the process of building this and choose a proxy preset to generate my offline media for both of those branches. Finally, I'll add network copiers to write the AAFs to locations on the network. I'll specify high res and proxy folders to keep them both organized. So just to recap, this workflow will automatically detect and filter media that can be quickly rewrapped or may need to be transcoded, then generate online and offline media and get everything into Media Composer ready for the editor to start work. As part of this process, we can also easily populate columns in the media bins with metadata from the clips or create new custom columns. To do this, we'll use a metadata injector node from the tools bin. Now for a quick example, let's populate the comments field and create a new column in the bin. We can use a metadata trigger that will prompt the data wrangler or edit assistant to enter some words into the comments column when submitting the media from card agent. We'll also make a new custom column that gets populated with the operator's name who ingested this media. 
Now that the workflow is complete, I just have to submit a card to be processed. Card Agent is our streamlined submission application that allows non-technical staff to easily browse media and then launch a pre-built workflow to process those files. Here we'll browse to some camera cards, view the contents, apply custom trims if needed, and even bulk rename both clips and cards. All of the changes we make here are populated into the selected job pipeline. Picking the workflow we just made, we can see that we have to complete the two custom fields we generated with the metadata injection node before we can submit the camera card. After the job is completed, we'll go into Media Composer and see how we access the footage. I've already set up my project and created a new bin. As all of the rewraps and transcodes from Content Agent are already in the managed media directory, all I need to do is simply import the AAF files that were generated. As Media Composer's database was automatically updated, there is no rescanning needed. I can even have Content Agent push files into Composer whilst it's open so I can carry on editing while media is being ingested. I'm going to browse to my proxy folder and import the AAF that references all my sources. Now remember that this AAF also contains a new sequence that was created by Content Agent. I'll quickly do some trimming and add a few dissolves. Now that the edit is complete, I can simply create a relink to the high res media, again by importing the necessary AAF and then pointing the sequence to the new media. Now at this point you would probably then export the sequence to a master format required by the next step of the production pipeline. But instead, we are actually going to offload this task back to Content Agent. We can do this by actually installing selected workflows directly into Media Composer's Send To menu. I've made this very simple workflow that will make my main deliverable formats, viewing copies, and then deliver these both to network locations FTP and WAN services. Now, of course, these delivery workflows can be much more involved, including automated file QC, emailing of reports, and once again using rich metadata, move files to passed or rejected folders using decision nodes. Once we have the workflows that we'd like to make available to the operator, it's a simple case of using our template editor to create the Avid compatible package and then the installer app to put the workflows into the send to menu in each Media Composer. Back in Media Composer, it's a simple task to right click on our sequence and then browse the required workflow and submit the timeline. Content Agent will pre-flight the task to make sure that all the required assets are available and then send the sequence to the job agents for processing thus freeing up Composer's interface and allowing the editor to continue with other tasks. Up till now we've been looking at a typical standalone Media Composer environment, but the amazing thing is, is that with the addition of a few specialised nodes and settings back in the Workflow Designer, we can apply this pipeline to interplay PAM ecosystems as well. So let's have a quick look at how this can be achieved. Back in Content Agent, we'll make a duplicate of our last workflow and then modify it to work in an interplay environment. Now, if you think about it, essentially our workflow will be very similar, except we need to write the media files into the Nexus storage and check in those clips into the interplay server. So firstly, let's delete the existing network copiers and replace them with interplay check-in nodes. As you can see, we're able to browse the connected server folder structure and either select an existing directory or dynamically create new ones based on clip metadata. Say for instance, the date or card name. Once this is done, we just need to modify the storage paths in both the Avid OP Atom rewrap and platinum nodes 
to reflect the location of the Nexus volume we are using. In both these nodes, we also have specific options for when working in an interplay environment. We'll uncheck our original settings to update a standalone Media Composer database, as this is no longer required, and enable the Do Multi-Res and the Edit Whilst Rewrap or Transcoding options found in these nodes. Do Multi-Res allows us to easily take advantage of Media Composer's dynamic relinking feature, which can associate two or more different resolutions as being the same clip. This makes for an easy toggle between offline and online media quality. Edit Whilst Rewrap or Transcode allows the editor to start working with clips in Composer even before the entire media duration has been fully processed. Now that we've made our changes, let's submit a camera card again and look at the result in Media Composer. But before we leave Content Agent, let's look at yet another Interplay-specific workflow feature. Jobs in Content Agent can be triggered in various ways. We've already seen how Card Agent can submit media, for example. However, we also have the ability to set up watch folders that are linked to specific workflows, so that whenever media is copied or dropped into them, it will trigger a particular process. The great news is that we can monitor interplay folders in the same way, so that when an editor drops a finished sequence into a particular directory, Content Agent will launch a specified task. As you can see, interplay watch folders are super easy to set up with just a few clicks. Just pick a workflow, then select a folder on the server. Saving this then activates the monitoring process for the new watch folder job. So now we'll be working in an interplay enabled Media Composer project. But first, let's look at our Media Central panel. As you can see, all of my clips have been checked in successfully to the server. If we now go back to Media Composer and bring up the Interplay browser window, we can drag in some of the clips and build a new sequence. As you can see, because we generated dual resolutions for each clip, it's simple for the editor to toggle between the different qualities using the dynamic linking button, rather than having to manually relink to online clips in another bin. What we've seen in these examples are huge time savers and workflow enablers when it comes to collaborating with Avid Media Composer and Interplay ecosystems. So anything from a small editing or post environment with just a few composer seats, right up to massive news broadcast deployments involving interplay servers and tens of Media Composer suites can benefit from Content Agent. Content Agent should be your go-to solution for anyone wishing to accelerate and automate their Avid workflows to the next level.